video was just a joke. A couple of you said do the don't judge me challenge. So I thought I'd put a twist on it and do the money edition. Um, I wore my sister's glasses. Today we have a lit ass vlog for you guys. Excuse me, Islam to me is one of the most feminist religions. See how far the rabbit hole goes. I'll put you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have got to try the cold chop. I've had it. A three, a two to one, two to one, two to three. I like good pussy. I like good weed. So uh, today we're we're doing another a brown bag special. It's, it's going to be one of those episodes. Funny story about this uh, shitty peach vodka. There's actually some gin in there too. That's not fucking funny at all. <clears throat> today we're going to be talking about how to be a successful vlogger. Now I know what you're thinking. Red. Simple. All you need is an interesting life and a good camera. Well, you couldn't be more wrong. You see, it's not about all that materialistic stuff. Vlogging's much more than that. It's about posing in front of expensive cars. It's about self-balancing scooters. It's about not having an original idea in your head, so ripping off any trending fad that might be on YouTube. It's about showing your wealth off to everyone around you. Casey Neistat's probably the figurehead of what it takes to be a successful vlogging channel. I mean, look at that. Who wouldn't want to have to look at that pretty face for 30 minutes straight? But Casey's really branched out to other things that set him apart from other vloggers. I mean, for example, he gave some really great advice during the election with this wonderful video called Who You Should Vote For. That must be the Four loco talking. I meant who I'm voting for president. This is about a megalomaniac who's driven by nothing but ego. A man who cares exactly zero about the people of this country. A person who brags about sexually assaulting women and shames others for the way they look. I'm speaking up now because this election has very little to do with politics, policy, or legislation. This has to do with morals and principles. I'm voting for Hillary because, make no mistake, there is only one person that can defeat him. One person that can keep him away from power, and it is her. I'm not a huge fan of her stale politics. I'm entirely aware of all the criticism against her. I'm aware of all of her failures and shortcomings. But she's intelligent, and she knows what she's doing. More importantly, she's mentally sound, she's responsible, and she's sane. I want to end this by calling out all the big YouTubers. Some I know and some you viewers might know. See, making videos like this, they're not popular, they're not going to get you subscribers, they're not going to boost your view counts. But there is something much more valuable than subscribers or dollars, and that's backbone. So today I'm going to step on a really high horse and tell you guys uh, who to vote for. I need you guys to vote for uh, the person that I like. Don't for vote for the person that I don't like, though, because if you do that, uh, you're, 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 uh, you're less than uh, human to me. Stellar advice, Casey. There's no better way to have people make their voices heard by participating in democracy than to make a video trashing the candidate you don't like, telling people to vote for the candidate you want to win, and urging other popular YouTubers to influence others to do the same. But like I said, Casey's on to bigger and better propaganda. What are the other vloggers, the marginally less successful ones? What are the other wealthy narcissists? Hey, No Biggie, what's poppin', guys? It's your boy, you be watching No Biggie TV. I'm with the boy Rick right now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> um, hope you guys have a great day. Guys, today we're doing something crazy, something Just special, man. Yerv, or No Biggie TV, is a culmination of all the bad parts of YouTube, obnoxiously loud. Team No Biggie was popping, guys. Welcome back to another lit vlog. Latching on to trending cancer. I don't know about you, but when I'm fresh out of ideas, BuzzFeed's the first place I go for a fresh new video topic. Hey, you remember that trend when two retards would sit in front of a camera and ogle an overly attractive, really young girl and try to guess her age 
and overreact like two messed up monkeys at a zoo. We are doing the can you guess her age challenge. Bro, women transform I'm their I'm saying, face, bro. <laughs> bro, the reason I've been wanting to do this is because I've ran into these situations. I think she's young, bro. I'm saying 15. Do you know the answers, bro? Yo, she legit looks young as hell. She does. I don't Okay, let's just move on to the next one because I don't know, bro. We are totally going to be bad at this, bro. Bro. <laughs> we already bro, failed uh, miserably. Bro, okay, next. As bad as things it might look for No Biggie TV, at least we could say that he's stopped being reckless and stupid with expensive technology. Bro! Get the thumbnail! No! Get You're cutting into it! Get the thumbnail! Motherfucker! Ah! Oh! Oh my, dude! Oh my god! I think I'm ready to jump out the window. Now you might be saying to yourself right now, well I can't be a vlogger. I don't have enough money to buy a dope ass whip and make Skrilla on some lit videos. Well that's okay, cause the next vlogger, Mo Vlogs, proves all you need is a rich sister with a nice car. And you're set. Hey guys, what is up, Mo here, and I'm gonna get straight into it because you guys came to watch this vlog for a reason, and that's the title, so let me show you. This is the Lamborghini Huracan, the reason why all of you clicked on this video now, it looks amazing, this is my sister's new car. If you look back on Mo Vlogs videos, you'll notice that uh, a lot of his content was focused on his sister, or more accurately, his sister's things. One thing you should know about Mo is that he don't let the money affect what kind of person he is, okay? In this video response, you're gonna see the, the layers peel back, and you're gonna get a real sense of who Mo Vlogs really is. You're gonna see his personality just shine through. Hi guys, what is up, Mo here, and welcome to another video. So this is a response video to PewDiePie's video, and the reason I'm making this is because it was on a topic that I could relate to. So the reason I'm making this video is, if you guys don't know me or watch my videos, basically, I make a lot of videos with my sister's car, which is a Lamborghini, here's a photo of it, and pretty much in most of these videos, I get a lot of hate just for people classing us as rich, spoiled, and what's really weird to me is the fact that people judge you based on how much you make, even though you're the same person without the money. Now, a topic that PewDiePie came across on his video was that how when he started YouTube, he didn't have anything, and he was making hot dogs, and he worked his way up and never thought about the money, and I completely agree with that. For example, a lot of people ask me why I make YouTube videos, and the reason is I enjoy making the videos. There's a lot of things I can do to make more money than YouTube, but I think you should always do something you enjoy. And at the end of the day, if you make money, even if it's less than doing something else, if it's something you enjoy, you're just gonna continue doing it and have fun with it. Holy shit, guys. We should count ourselves lucky. You see, Mo could be out there earning way more Skrilla. He's just doing this because he loves it. It's his passion. He's following his dreams. He doesn't let the money get in the way of being himself. Coming at me with a bad choice Three little boys with a bad voice Little boy here, little boy there Three little boys ended their careers Well in closing, I'd just like to say that it isn't the money that really makes me dislike these vlogging channels It's the cancer, the clickbait, the narcissism All the bad parts of YouTube rolled up into one thing And if that's your bag, dude, that's fine I, Seriously, I make videos reviewing porn do you, you really want to look at me as a role model? Well, that's about it for season two, you guys. Uh, thanks for following me, man, on this journey of the creepy, the degenerate, and the dumb. It's been a blast, and I can't wait to see what the future brings. But, uh, yeah, with a heavy heart, I must announce that uh, it looks like the YouTube channel is going to be closing down as these uh, poll results clearly show. No! Damn! Don't forget to, to, to like and to subscribe. And I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell you. I find it hard to take. When people run in circles, it's a very, very bad